there are two steps to building a login form. The visual part, the HTML form itself, and the logic when you submit that form. Finding the user, checking the password, and logging in. The interesting part is, if you think about it, the first part, the HTML form, has absolutely nothing to do with security. It's just, well, a boring, normal HTML form. Let's get that built first. By the way, there are plans to add a make command to generate a login form and the security logic automatically, so that we only need to fill in a few details. That doesn't exist yet, so we'll do it manually. But that's a bit better for learning anyways. To build a controller, let's at least use one shortcut. At your terminal, run bin console make controller to create a new class called security controller. Move over and open that. Okay, update the URL to slash login, change the route name to app underscore login, and the method to login. We don't need to pass any variables yet, and we'll call the template login.html.twig. Next, down in templates slash security, rename index.html.twig to login.html.twig. Let's try it. Move over, go to slash login, and whoops, variable controller name does not exist. Duh. I removed the variables that we were passing into the template. Empty all of the existing code from the template. Then change the title to login and for now, just add an H1 with log into the spacebar. Try it again. Perfect. Well, not perfect. It looks terrible and there's no login form yet. To fix that part, Google for Symphony login form to find a page on the Symphony docs that talks all about this. We're coming here so that we can steal some code. Scroll down a bit until you see a login method that has some logic in it. Copy the body, move back to our controller, and paste. This needs an authentication utils class as an argument. Add it. Authentication utils, authentication utils. Then these two new variables are passed into twig. Copy them and also paste it. In a few minutes, we're going to talk about where these two variables are set. They both deal with authentication. But first, go back to the docs and find the login form. Copy this, move over and paste it into our body. Notice there is nothing special about this form. It has a username field, a password field, and a submit button. And we're going to customize it, so don't look too closely yet. Move back to your browser to check things out. Bah! unable to generate a URL for the named route login. This comes from login.html.twig. Of course, the template we copied is pointing to a route called login, but our route is called app underscore login. Actually, just remove the action equals entirely. If a form doesn't have an action attribute, it will submit right back to the same URL, slash login which is what I want anyways. Refresh again. Perfect. Well, it still looks awful. Oof. To fix that, I'm going to replace the HTML form with some markup that looks nice in Bootstrap 4. You can copy this from the code block on this page. Before we look at this new code, try it. Refresh. Still ugly. Dang. Oh yeah. That's because we need to include a new CSS file for this markup. If you downloaded the course code, you should have a tutorial directory with two CSS files inside. Copy login.css, find your public directory, 
and paste the file into public slash CSS. So far in this series, we are not using Webpack Encore, which is an awesome tool for professionally combining and loading CSS and JS files. Instead, we're just putting CSS files into the public directory and pointing to them directly. If you want to learn more about Encore, go check out our Webpack Encore tutorial. Anyways, we need to add a link tag for this new CSS file. But I only want to include it on this page, not on every page. We just don't need the CSS on every page. Look at base.html twig. We're including three CSS files in the base layout. Ah, and they all live inside a block called style sheets. We basically want to add a fourth link tag right below these, but only on the login page. To do that, in login.html twig, add block style sheets and end block. This will override that block completely, which is actually not exactly what we want. Nope, we want to add to that block. To do that, print parent. This will print the content of the parent block, the three link tags, and then we can add the new link tag below. Link with href equals and login.css. PHPStorm helps fill in the asset function. Now it should look good. Try it. Boom! Oh, but we don't need that h1 tag anymore. So even though this looks much better, it's still just a very boring HTML form. It has an email field and a password field, though we won't add the password checking logic until later. It also has a remember me checkbox that we'll learn how to activate. The point is, you can make your login form look however you want. The only special part is this error variable, which when we're done will be the authentication error if the user just entered a bad email or password. I'll plan ahead and add a bootstrap class for this. Okay, login form is done, but we probably need a link to this page. In the upper right corner, we have a cute user dropdown, which is totally hard-coded with fake data. Go back to base.html.twig and scroll down to find this. There it is. For now, let's comment out that dropdown. We'll re-add it later when we have real data. Then copy a link from above, paste it here, and change it to login with a link to app underscore login. Try it. Refresh. We got it. HTML login form, check. We are now ready to fill in the logic of what happens when we submit the form. We'll do that in something called an authenticator. 